Hello everyone, this is Chef Rochelle with Standards of Excellence Appliances. I love Thai cuisine. I want to introduce you today to my Thai shrimp and coconut soup with pumpkin. It's a beautiful dish and it's great year round. Let me show you how to make it. So the ingredients are oil and garlic. I've got some shallots and lemongrass. There's some chilies here. This is shrimp paste. I have some stock coconut milk. Here's some kefir lime leaves. This is fish sauce and lime juice. I have cooked shrimp. Over here is pumpkin, cherry tomatoes. I'm going to finish with lime wedges and Thai basil. So I love pumpkin. It's not just for fall. I have to eat it year round. This is an Asian style pumpkin called a kabocha and it's much smaller. What I did was I cut the top and bottom off and then it's very easy to just go around and just get that skin off. Then I cut it into small pieces over here. Now one of the other ingredients is lemongrass. It's a very long stalk. What I do with the lemongrass is cut it down and then I cut off the base. What you need to do then is peel it. As you can see there's all these little rings. You peel down to the inner rings where past the purple and so you get a very small tender core. So it's a lot that goes away but this is what you're going to end up with. And you mince this really finely. The last ingredient is in your Asian market freezer section. This is a wonderful kefir lime leaf and I've just cut the very center, the stem out of that. So I just fold it up, nick out that stem and then these are going to go into a soup and give it an incredible fragrance. So to begin I have a pot on medium high heat and I'm going to add in my oil. Now into that I add shallot, lemongrass, garlic and chilies and this gets stirred together and just cooked down for about two minutes. At this point I add in my shrimp paste and stock and stir that together and then toss in the pumpkin and half of the kefir lime leaves. I'm going to bring this up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer and simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until the pumpkin becomes tender. So now I have coconut milk going in and I don't want to overboil this so I'm just going to bring the coconut milk up to a gentle simmer. I'll even reduce the heat just a little. And then in goes the fish sauce. I have a little bit of sugar and this is all about balance so I'm going to taste it as well. Lime juice and a little bit of salt. Just going to give this a minute or two and taste it and then rebalance those flavors. So to finish the soup I have cooked shrimp that's going in. I leave the tails on but that's optional. And then some cherry tomatoes. You can even use larger ones and cut them in half. And then the other half of the kefir lime leaves. Now at this point I'm going to stir this together and I'm just going to bring it back up to, to temperature but not too hot. You really don't want to boil this now. And then I'm going to taste and decide if I want more tangy, more fish sauce, more sweet. Get that balance right. That's a beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to do a little bit more lime juice and then show you what this looks like plated. So I added a little bit more lime juice and the flavor is spot on. I love balancing the different flavors of Thai food. So the final garnish on this is just a little bit of fresh Thai basil leaves, a couple of these guys on there, and a squeeze of lime on top. So it's finished. This is my Thai pumpkin shrimp and coconut milk soup. It's good for year-round cooking. Please log on to ChefRochelleBoucher.com for this recipe, videos, and more Thai cooking tips.